Hey everybody, Brian here from Cloud.net. I just put up a new posting on my blog called Market Reversal with Marabuza Line and Adam and Eve. In this video, I'll show you about the Marabuza Line. Uh, I've never known about this. It's one of the candlesticks uh, patterns, uh, and it seems to work. If you've known me since or late last year, 2017, November, December, January, February, I try to fool around with a lot of uh, Duca's copy forex trading on minute data put a little blurb in here in the blog itself I uh, just found that I was not doing too good because of reversals threw me off and just so many false signals on anything under I'm gonna say under 15 minute time frame uh, so I've been looking at different ways to do market reversal this idea came from Nick trades I've talked about Nick trades before so uh, the first one I've got here is called Marabuza line and basically what it is is just you have a candlestick with one move up or another move down it's a big enough uh, move and it can trigger a confirmation or notification of this event so in my blog I've got all the different um, links to it but what I want you to understand here if you go into the um, into the in, into the blog into the posting here um, oh and the name of the uh, posting is market reversal with Marabuza line and that's M A R U B O Z U line and Adam and Eve so if you come under here there looks to be some Python coding example with Nick trades this is the case uh, with uh, on GitHub it's using T A lib here's an example of it with a simple script I'll show you this in a minute um, but what I also want you to understand is when you work with it in a data frame it will um, bring back and return either 100 minus 100 or a, or a positive 100 so when I run it I have this thing called Python Marabuza and essentially if you have taken my course on Python infrastructure building blocks you'll know how I like to use data frames because they're simple they're easy so what I've done here this is a cryptocurrency flat file that I downloaded from Binance standard uh, standard data a thousand rows um, with the standard timestamp open high low close on top of I've added in uh, a Marabuza column as well and you can see here it's it's either returning a negative 100 or 100 so that's what it returns and that's all it returns when the event happens so this basically means a hundred minus a hundred denotes a bearish tri-star pattern where the middle candle bo body is above the other two conversely plus a hundred denotes a bullish tri-star pattern where the middle body is above the adjacent ones and that's exactly what I want so this code is real easy and I'm going to show it to you here so this is a code all you got to do is again in Python I'm using Python 3.6 you import using the TA lib I'm not going to get into that um, if you need to know how to install in install TA lib you can always 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 go into um, into the github repository for TA lib if uh, which it should exist and uh, what you can do is usually um, here you'll get a description and it'll tell you how to install it using pip and that's what I use and then there's other ways to do it as well I'm sure you can figure out how to do that on your own and I also cover that in my course as well um, if you want more information on that course which is fairly popular just come into my store and you will find this will be very useful for anybody is Python 3 infrastructure building blocks with crypto so here it's only 247 um, I see no reason to increase the price but it covers all that so there's that spiel I was going back to the code we have here we do an import of TA lib package the standard numpy and pandas uh, packages as well we don't care about the standard data but what I've got is I'm using a file that I can download from Binance I've shown you how to do that in past videos again I'm not going to repeat it here um, and then you read uh, that flat file the CSV into a data frame using pandas 
uh, and this read underscore CSV with the column names, which has to sync up within the CSV. Also, what I do is I try to drop all the duplicates. I also try to remove the first row because it includes the header, and when you convert it, it will screw up because it's string data types, which you don't want. So you drop the first uh, row, and that's usually the headers of the columns. And then what we do is once we remove uh, the uh, row and we define it back to itself, then we can start parsing up uh, for the open column, the high column, low column, and the closed column, and we ensure it's a float type. And it's so easy. It's just passing the, you call TA lib, call this function here, uh, open, high, low, close. You define the new uh, column, Marabuza, and then you print it out, and that's what I've got. Simple, 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 and I'm sure it's reliable. I've had some areas in TA lib which can be questioned, um, but I think this should be good. It's simple to, to get working. And, of course, I can chart it and make alerts and whatever else I want. So hopefully I'll help you, and we shall talk to you later. Bye.